Well, we could all use a smile, so how about this St. Louis success story? She went to John Burroughs, then Princeton, and then Ellie Kemper became an Emmy-nominated actress. She lives in New York City, but as I found out, that's not where she's been since the pandemic began. Long before the quarantine, people lined up to see Ellie Kemper when her book tour brought her to St. Louis. You want to hang out with her and get to know her. Her road to success always finds a detour home, and it's in St. Louis where she's riding out the pandemic. Every day is the same. <laughs> Kemper has been staying at a house owned by an out-of-town friend with her husband and two young children. Every day is pretty much the same. Um, uh, naps, diaper changes, meals, um, laundry, cleaning, and then um, go to bed exhausted. The movie she was shooting, like the rest of Hollywood, was shut down in early March. But Ellie Kemper's work is being seen in living rooms all over the country. Oh, all done. Disposable cameras are fun, although it does seem wasteful and you don't ever get to see your pictures. Her big break, of course, came on the NBC show The Office. Seven years after filming the last episode, it is still one of the top rated shows on Netflix. I think that this resurgence is very cool. It's, um, I'm glad that it's still reaching so many people. How awesome is this place, even though they don't have recess, which is fine, it's fine. Recesses for babies. Also on Netflix, Ellie stars in the Tina Fey comedy, The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, which ended its four year run last year. But she filmed a brand new standalone episode where she had to kiss Daniel Radcliffe, AKA Harry Potter. I was pregnant at the time. I just felt like poor Daniel Radcliffe. First of all, he is so lovely. I can't imagine what life is like for him. Every single person on the planet recognizing him. And he is just the most gracious, classy man. It was a joy to work with and, and to make out with. Back to that book tour where Ellie was promoting My Squirrel Days, her hilarious collection of essays and anecdotes, including the moment where she accidentally tripped famous historian Doris Kearns Goodwin and then had to see her again a few years later. She acted like she remembered me. I, I doubt <laughs> she probably like blacked the whole thing out, so she it's like PTSD. Like the rest of us, Ellie Kemper has no idea when life will return to normal. She says she's extremely thankful for all our health care workers and first responders and also thankful that no matter where she goes, St. Louis will always be home. There is a kindness factor in the Midwest that I don't know if you see other places. And so I, I think that that um, experience is, uh, I feel so grateful to have grown up around um, kind people. And she is just one of the kindest people around. Her sister Carrie is also a television writer, and so is her husband, Michael. So it's a lot of talent in one family. My complete interview with Ellie Kemper is on KSDK.com.